Hello everyone, welcome to this series on cultural studies. And in this video, we are going to discuss the term AIDS and literature. Introduction Since the mid 1980s, the global AIDS crisis has sparked a profound artistic response, permeating various modes of literary production across both Western and non Western worlds. This response reflects shifting perceptions of sex and sexuality, manifesting in a diverse range of literary works addressing AIDS and its representations. It is essential to recognize that attempting to create a coherent body of AIDS literature is neither possible nor desirable due to the vast diversity of responses. However, this video aims to highlight some significant literary works and critical contributions that have emerged in response to AIDS despite the generalizations it may necessitate. Western and non-Western responses In Western countries, the literary response to AIDS has predominantly materialized through non-fiction and fiction including short stories, novels and poetry. Conversely, in non-Western countries, the response has often been more performance-oriented, integrating theatre and other modern representation forms such as film, television, newspapers, magazines, informational pamphlets, and electronic news groups. This video will focus primarily on written creative works, acknowledging their inevitable connections with other AIDS-related discourses, including medical research, media coverage and academic sociological writings by activists like Cindy Patton and Douglas Crimp, gay male communities and early literary responses. In the West, gay male communities were among the most traumatized by the onset of the AIDS crisis, leading to a significant body of literature by gay male authors, many of whom were living with AIDS or HIV infection. However, it is a misconception to assume that AIDS literature is exclusively a gay male endeavor. For instance, Susan Sontag's 1986 short story, The Way We Live Now, was one of the first mainstream publications addressing AIDS. Additionally, early non-fiction writings included memoirs by mothers who had lost sons to AIDS and wives coping with their husbands' illness, emerging gay perspectives and changing literary landscape. Recent years have seen a substantial increase in popular AIDS writing from openly gay perspectives. Authors like David Feinberg, Sarah Schulman and Tom Gunn, along with younger writers published in compilations, approach AIDS with honesty and power, foregrounding issues of sexuality and gender during the epidemic. The perception of AIDS as strictly a gay disease has led some gay male writers such as Peter Cameron to avoid the topic. Critics argue that such absence disrupts the representation of gays as a high-risk group, focusing instead on high-risk behaviors. Despite differing viewpoints, AIDS has irrevocably influenced the way gay literature and potentially all literature is written and read. Literature of Crisis, Classification and Genre AIDS literature can be classified as literature of crisis akin to writings from historical crises like the Holocaust or slavery. Emmanuel S. Nelson cautions against direct comparisons, noting the unique aspects of AIDS literature despite formal similarities with other crisis literature. AIDS literature exists within overlapping medical, social and literary discourses primarily involving marginalized groups such as gays, intravenous drug users and sex workers. This marginalized status complicates the classification of AIDS literature under a strict label like literature of crisis. Historical context and genre Essays in Nelson's book address the genre of AIDS literature. Laurel Broadsley draws parallels between Daniel Defoe's The Journal of the Plague Year 
and non-fiction works like Randy Shields and the band played on and Paul Monet's Borrowed Time. Gregory Woods contextualizes AIDS poetry within the broader elegiac tradition of English poetry. However, critics like Joseph Dewey argue that traditional genres are anachronistic to the postmodern reality of AIDS and fail to encompass the spirit of activist resistance present in AIDS literature. Robert Frank suggests that both fiction and non-fiction AIDS writings exhibit characteristics of a new genre, acknowledging the limitations of modern science in addressing complex human experiences. The Political Component in AIDS Literature The political dimension of AIDS literature is a subject of ongoing discussion. Judith Lawrence Pastor argues that AIDS literature must have clear pedagogical goals such as dispelling fears and overcoming homophobia. While these goals are critical and addressed in many writings, reducing AIDS literature to a political and educational tool overlooks the multifaceted levels on which these works operate. Aesthetic experimentation in AIDS literature should not be devalued if it is not immediately politically expedient. The potential of AIDS writings to foster compassion and understanding about the disease remains a debated topic. The interdisciplinary nature of AIDS discourse The interdisciplinary nature of AIDS discourse means that literary responses to AIDS are inseparable from media representations and medical research. Television movies like An Early Frost and various brochures on safe sex inform and overlap with fiction and non-fiction writings. Any comprehensive study on AIDS literature must consider the influence of these intersecting fields as writing about AIDS transcends mere academic interest and addresses fundamental issues of life and death. Conclusion The literary response to AIDS is vast and complex, defying easy categorization or comprehensive analysis. While this video focuses on specific aspect of the response, it acknowledges the broader context of AIDS discourse, including media and medical fields. The interdisciplinary and cultural significance of writing about AIDS highlights the urgent need for continued exploration and understanding of this multifaceted phenomenon. As AIDS literature evolves, it remains a critical site for examining human experience, resilience, and the quest for compassion in the face of global crisis. So this was the discussion on the term AIDS and literature. We will meet in the next video and discuss some other term. Until then, goodbye and thank you.